What is the worst thing you've seen at a strip club? Old dude, on an oxygen tank, smoking. He turned toward the crowd and with the two teeth he had left, he spat out, you can see. Um. Tits. Solid Monday night. A guy eat a banana squeezed out of the stripper's cooch. For the curious, at the Nipa hut in Angeles City, RP. 30 pesos cover guaranteed, two drinks and all you can eat. I saw my first dead body at a club in East Dallas. Story was, a girl that worked there set a guy up to get robbed. He found out, hit her in the head with a beer bucket, and a fight ensued among several patrons. I assume most of them didn't know the reason she was hit and just fought the guy. One of those people was a regular. As the almost robbed guy left the club, the regular threw a beer bottle at his head. Almost robbed guy steps out of his car, walks up, pulls out a gun and dropped him at point-blank range right in front of the club's entrance slash exit. He returned to his car and wasn't found by police for several months. One of my best friends used to live in Tampa. He was a regular at one of the clubs and became friends with some of the dancers. One of the girls told him that another regular would come in and pay her to piss in a bottle so that he could sip on it while she gave him dances. She agreed to do so. Except she never pissed in any of the bottles. Instead, she would have one of the bouncers piss in the bottle and the guy would sit there sipping the bouncer's piss, thinking it was the dancers. <laughs> Stripper here, when I first started, I was barely a month into the job. Myself and another dancer took these two guys to VIP but separate booths. It was the end of the night and lights were on to signal people to GTFO. The guy I danced for said his friend is paying for the dances. So we walk to their booth and the friend and the dancer are drunk as fuck. The guy is laying on the couch, shirt pulled up, begging the dancer to piss on him, she was drunk enough to comply. I was sober as hell. And my customer, the dude, s friend, watched in shock that this was actually happening. She did as he requested and the guy loved it. I was so new, I just had to wait and watch as well, dude, was quite pleased and then went to the ATM to pay me and his girl. Bouncer I knew, huge guy but the nicest dude. Went outside to stop an argument. Shot in the chest, died in the parking lot. RIP, many security people here are told not to intervene anything outside company building, to keep them safe and keep company name out of any possible bad knees, edit, news, but knees is much better. I was supposed to be a cook at a strip club in Corpus Christi, Texas. We were famous for our barbecue. Which was from a can. They never let me clean the container that the beef was kept in just pour another can on top. I noped out after three days. A guy got called into the bathrooms for a line with a couple of gang members he considered good friends. They broke the hand basin with his head and put him in an induced coma for one month. Thanks for the heads up. I'm in Corpus. I have been to a few clubs over the years, but have always found them to be very depressing and don't go to the next one for years, and never go back to the same one. Note to self, never eat at a strip club. Based on your comment and others in this posting. Everyone knew, he was dealing on the side despite their orders not to, he's now a born-again Christian. I put that in air quotes because he was fucking plenty of other girls up to two months before he got engaged, and is part of a Christian MC. I went to the local ratty strip club with some buddies. I didn't really want to be there, but it was somewhere to party after the bars closed. I got to talking to a woman in her 40s in a nurse's outfit. She told me she was wearing it because her daughter is going to nursing school and she's working there to pay for it. She then tells me she's paying for it to get closer to her daughter since she just got out of prison for putting a hit out on her husband. The guy the hitman went after attacked the wrong person and got arrested. Snitched on her, I was too sober to be dealing with all that. <laughs>